Setting your line layer to reference is the quickest way to color in and procreate while maintaining separate layers. So what we're gonna do is make sure your lines are on a separate layer like so. Then we're gonna click on the lines layer and set this to reference. Now we're gonna make a new layer with the plus button here and drag and drop this underneath the lines layer. Now the lines are gonna be the reference for layer two. So anything we drop in on layer two is gonna stay inside those lines. So you can make a lot of quick color drops. And then if you need to go back in and make any adjustments, you'll see these layers are all separate. So you're not filling in on the actual line layer. Making a quick drop shadow is super easy in Procreate. So what we're gonna do here, I've got a cactus design set up with different layers. So if you're working with a finished design, you've got separate layers for like the lines, colors, highlights, and shadows, and so forth. Basically, everything that you want to create a shadow with, you need to slide each layer to the right like so, so they're selected, and then we're gonna group these together. Now that these are grouped, we're gonna go up to group, select that, and we're going to slide this to the left, and we're gonna duplicate that group. And you'll see we've got two of the exact same now. I'm just gonna group these together so it's easier to see. Now that this is all grouped together, we're gonna to go ahead and select this and we are going to hit select. And then making sure that we have black selected from our color wheel up here, we're gonna click on the layer again and select fill layer. And you'll see this creates just basically a black version of these layers combined. So from here, we're gonna go up to our arrow and we're gonna flip this vertically and it's going to make it go upside down like so. And then we're gonna move this, kind of make it smaller and down here, we'll move it kind of out of the way like so hitting our distort button now we're just going to slide this until the bottom of that pot matches up with the bottom of this pot of uh, making sure that you've got the light source coming in the right direction to give off the right shadow now that that's set just go back up to your adjustments layer click on opacity slide your pencil or your finger to the left until you get a nice looking shadow and there you go a quick easy drop shadow in procreate so making a reflection in water is super easy with Procreate as well. Just like we did with the shadow, what we're going to do is make sure we select both of these layers by sliding to the right. We're going to group those together. Now we're going to slide that new group to the left and hit duplicate. And that's going to make another version of that. We're going to combine these. And then once again, going up to our arrow, we're going to go ahead and flip this vertically. And then we're going to go ahead and drag this down to the water like so. Now, as you can see, there's some overlap here and we don't want that. So what we're going to do, as you can see, I've got the water set up on a separate layer. So we need to select the water. And then once the menu comes up down here at the bottom, we need to hit invert. So this is going to select everything outside of the water. And then we're going to go back up to our reflection and we're going to go ahead and hit clear. And that's going to erase that section right there. Then from here, we can go ahead and go up to our adjustments and drop the opacity so we have a nice reflection there and then we can also go to the adjustments and go to a blur to kind of blur that just a little bit so it's not so perfect and there you go a really quick reflection in the water so let's say I want to combine two different canvases. I've got this space background here and I've got this little guy here. Let's say I want to put him on here, but this has three different layers and this other guy has got a bunch of layers too. And I don't want to lose any of that layer information. Usually what you would do is go back in here to your wrench icon, copy your canvas and then paste it on the background image. But doing so is gonna flatten those layers into one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide and select all these layers from this one, hold our finger down here, drag to the center, do not let up, hit the gallery button to go back to that main gallery page. Then we're gonna select this background image here. Once that loads, still holding down with this finger, we're gonna open up our layers and we're gonna drop those into there finally letting go and that's going to bring all those in here so that allows you to bring in another canvas and maintain those same layers without losing any information so that way you can go back and make adjustments here as you go as well Last but not least, we're gonna learn how to color in quickly with recolor. So filling in these bricks by hand with a paint bucket tool could be a pretty tedious process coloring all these in. Instead, we're gonna go up here to the adjustments tool and go down to recolor. And anywhere that this crosshair sits on is going to fill in that color. So what you can do is you can just click through and color in areas a lot faster than dragging and dropping that paint bucket every single time.